Hi. Guess what I discovered? I discovered that um, Arabic has now two words for leech. Um, uh, it's alaka and al masan. I'll, I'll, I'll play it for you when you find it. But apparently, even though Arabia is desert and not marshy or wet, where leeches would be, Arabic now has two words for leech. And uh, I, I discovered that when I uh, thought, hmm, I, I wonder if it really, if it, I typed in, I said leech in Arabic means, and uh, it took me to this site here, uh, right here, I'm going to web here, and English into uh, Arabic, English into Arabic, you see, English into Arabic. Here's the English, and then here's the Arabic here, yeah. Yeah. Actually, English English means English here, but here's leech and leeched. And then when you put it through Google Translate, uh, when it translates, it comes up here. Yeah. The one in red is the one that means leech. The one in red is the one that means, le means leech. And anyway, I thought, huh, if I put that through Google Translate, I wonder if it'll, it'll, pr it'll be pronounced alaka, you know? Like it is with uh, the Quran when it talks about uh, embryos being a, a blood uh, being a, a a blood clot or a clot of congealed blood. Muslims say no, it doesn't mean that. It means alaka, which means leech. Now, really, it means leech. Huh? Well, I'm, alaka means leech. So I put this thing through Google Translate. You know, here it is in Google Translate. There, see, there's the word, and it, and it pronounces leech here. And I thought, well, hey, here's here's. Here's this thing here that to make it so you can hear what it sounds when you put it through there. And when I hit it, boom. Al uh, yeah. What was that? Did it sound like Alaka to you? I'll play it again here. Uh, boom. Al Mustanazaf. Al Mustanazaf. Wait, wait, I'll play it more time here. Al Mustanazaf. One more time. Al Mustanazaf. Amustana stuff. Does that sound like a locket to you? Since it doesn't, and it means leech, and it doesn't even look like a locket from what I can tell from the Arabic here, that tells me that in arid Arabia, which is not marshy or wet at all, they've got two words for leech now. You know? Either that. Or alaka, which used to mean blood clot, now means leech. And I have a feeling that in the future it's not going to even mean leech. It's going to mean a ball of dividing, a ball of living dividing cells, because that's what an embryo truly is. An embryo is not a leech. You know? It's a ball of living dividing cells. Yeah, I bet that's what it'll. I bet that's what alaka will mean in the future.